Hey garden guardians, welcome to Angel Love's Garden. Peace and blessings to all. Let's get growing. Hey garden guardians, just a little quick update. Also about the traversing around the raised bed area. This was my vision to have it turn into like a green wall around the raised bed area. So, sorry about my shadow. So this, this side is the tomato side. My cherry tomatoes are finally starting to get taller and they're trellising up in this raised bed area. On, on this side, this wall, we have tomatoes coming. Y'all can see it, let's see. I'm not shading it. There's one there. There's some little ones right there. There's cherry tomatoes over there. Y'all can see that. So yeah, we got our cherry tomatoes coming. I pruned the bottoms as much as I could. I found that that helped last year. They try to keep some of the bugs and aphids and hopefully that green worm the hornworm away but we got finally got some cherry tomatoes coming this is the tomatillo there's nothing on it yet so these are celebrity tomatoes that usually last year they got really tall they're indeterminate um so we wait no no they're kind of small the purple Russian tomato. It just started growing. It looks like it's got some blossoms, you know, and I come through every so often and just shake this chicken wire um, like trellising that I made to try to um, to pollinate because tomatoes are self-pollinating. You just got to shake them. This is the grow kit tomatoes that I did in the first Young Halo um, garden project. Look at that tomato coming on there. That's not a cherry tomato, y'all. So that um, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar Dollar Grow Kits grows real tomatoes. And that's a nice size one. It's actually one of the first tomatoes over here that started growing. The plant itself is really tall. It's like, I'm about to put it through these extra little trellising wires to do like, um, at the top, it's sort of like the Florida, um, what do you call it, Florida weave or whatever everybody was talking about um, but at the bottom I used the chicken wire to kind of stand them up and give them a little base this is the these are tomatoes from the Ivy League farms tomatoes that I uh, planted from seed all these tomatoes are from seed over here except for this one which is the Tasmanian chocolate tomato that we got at the um, lavender herb lavender Feels herb farm. Look, look at that chocolate tomato, y'all. I can't wait to taste that thing. I want to know what it tastes like chocolate. What y'all think? Put it in the comments down below. Have you ever had chocolate, a Tasmanian chocolate tomato or a chocolate tomato, period? And does it taste like chocolate? The leaves smells a little bit like chocolate. Yeah, they kind of smell like chocolate, like a chocolate and a tomato. But I want to know if it's just going to be like a brown tomato or does it taste chocolatey i had to get it so y'all y'all tell me what y'all think on this side of the trellis area is where my squash are in the back side the cushaw they're starting to take off finally this side gets i think this side may get more shade for some reason so it's taking a while but the cushaw starting to vine up um, on the trellis a little bit these um, Black Beauty um, zucchini, they're taking their time on this side. The other little squash like Table Queens, the yellow uh, straight neck, they're really, really small right here. I think the uh, frost, because I planted a lot of my stuff kind of early, I think the frost did something to a lot of my plants because they were stunted. So I planted all this from seed. These this Black Beauty zucchini is growing great. So 
so is this one. And that cushion right there is growing outrageously great. So, so my thoughts is again to have the greenery on the outside, so it would be like a little wall, a walk-in area where the greenery is. So the back side is the squash. This um, side over here is the cucumber. Cucumbers is loving it, okay? Probably like within, I would say maybe about four days, these cucumbers got this tall. Because the rain and the sun together. Um, I haven't seen actual cucumber yet. But they growing. They'll probably be able to reach this second, um, so again, like the Florida type leaf that I have going all around this trellis area too to give them more space to grow vertically. So I'm thinking these probably by next week will be touching this uh, first level of um, twine that I put in here. Y'all saw that video when I did this, so I set this whole thing up. And I got that um, kite string and all that. So yeah, but the cucumbers, these are Chicago pickling cucumbers all of them. I think I planted seven to eight of them. That one is still stunted. I think it's being shaded. The carrots and things were over there, so it was shading it out. I've taken a lot of the carrots out of that raised bed. I left one because I want carrot seeds, but I planted the eggplant right there, and I think the eggplant is shading it too now. But we're going to take a look, see how it does. But yeah, cucumbers, they loving it. I don't know if y'all can see, my grass needs to be cut, but there's like bees everywhere. All in this little grass. Y'all see that? They're all in here. I saw one over there. See him? So yeah, hopefully, you know, we get lots of good veggies going on here. But that's what I wanted to show y'all, the trellising area, see how it's working. It looks like we might have our green wall, y'all. Our little green walk-in area where we can go into. And um, that will be so cool. I won't, I'm so excited about that happening because that was in my head. And to see it come to life will be awesome. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you again for your time. Y'all have a blessed day and stay blessed always. Bye-bye.